morning to solve the quadratic equation next method after factorization method is completing square method so for this completing square method that example is x square plus 2x minus 5 is equal to 0. For that at first compare it with standard form ax square, ax square plus bx plus c is equal to 0. Check whether it is in that form or not. So I checked it. It is in the standard form ax square plus bx plus c is equal to 0. After that, I will consider these two terms only. First two terms of LHS and will try that how can I gain third term to complete the square. Means what? So, for that, I will compare these two terms with x square plus 2xy. Why plus? Because here is plus sign. So, x square plus 2xy is equal to this one. I am comparing this with these first two terms. x square plus 2x. Now if I am sending this x square to RHS, that will become minus and so x square x square will get cancelled. So it will come as 2xy is equal to 2x. Now I want to find out value of y because y and after that I want y square because y square is the third term. What's the value of y square is the third term of these two terms. So, I will say this multiplication 2x to that side. So, multiplication will become division. So, y is equal to 2x this one upon 2x. So, y will come as 1. If y is 1, then y square is also 1 because 1 square is 1 only. So, y square is equal to 1 is your third term of for solving this example. So, now see x square plus 2x plus 1 just consider this one only that this one is a square of x plus 1. Here it is a perfect square. So this method is called as completing square method. Here we have completed the square. So it is called as completing square method. Now we will turn to the to our example, it is x square plus 2x minus 5 is equal to 0. 
Now, in this example, now in this example, x square plus 2x minus 5 is equal to 0. I am adding this 1, once adding and once subtracting means x square plus 2x plus 1 which is a gained third term minus 1 minus 5 is equal to 0. So, we have balance here. We added that third term which we gain but subtracted also. So, there is balance of the example. That example is not changed. Now, we will consider these three terms. So, in these first three terms, it is a perfect square. A square root of this one is x. Square root of this one as 1. And the middle sign plus. So it is a square of x plus 1. x plus 1 square. Again telling here we completed the square. That's why this method is completing square method. Now these three terms we took. After that this one minus 1 minus 5 is equal to minus 6 is equal to 0. Now, if you are remembering the formula, that is a square minus b square is equal to a plus b into a minus b. This formula we can apply here that x plus 1 square minus root 6 square. Now apply this formula. I will say x plus 1 plus root 6 once plus. Okay. And x plus 1 minus root 6 is equal to 0. Now, I will equate this each bracket. This each bracket with 0. So, x plus 1. Okay. See now. So, x x plus 1, I will equate this each bracket with 0, x plus 1 plus root 6 is equal to 0. Or, you can write here or also, x plus 1 minus root 6 is equal to 0. Now the instruction is solved. So we will find out the value of x. So x is equal to plus 1 and plus root 6. While going to RHS will become minus. So minus 1 minus root 6. Or x is equal to minus 1 plus 1 will become minus 1 and minus root 6 will become plus root 6. So minus 1 plus root 6. 
so that we can write in words that minus 1 minus root 6 and minus 1 plus root 6 are the roots of the given quadratic equation and we have to make square to the make bracket to the answer.